again Call my bluff, I'ma be you to the end I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride to Hi guys, it's your girl Garnet Bless Welcome back to my channel Please remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel, okay? Um, today I am back in the kitchen Yes, all of a sudden I am in the kitchen very often But anyway, today I am going to do some brown stew um, turkey neck Jamaican style I'm gonna do it without a pressure cooker I'm also gonna do some macaroni and cheese salad and white rice okay so let's get started so I have my water on the fire already um, for my macaroni and cheese what I'm gonna need is I need two macaroni and cheese I have two eggs I have my mozzarella cheese, I have my evaporated milk, I have my breadcrumbs, you know, two different style. It is original and this is Italian style breadcrumbs. And pretty much that's what I need, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put my macaroni to boil. as how you know you're gonna make your macaroni and cheese and you let it boil I'm letting it boil until the macaroni is all cooked okay okay so while my macaroni is over there boiling I am gonna preheat the oven so I am gonna I'm pre I'm preheating the oven um, to 350 degrees and now I have my turkey in it okay I'm not doing a lot because as you know it's just not for it's just for two so i already seasoned my turkey neck from like two days ago you know because i wanted to marinate but today i'm gonna add a little more of what i put on it okay so you can see so i have my maggie chicken season and as you don't know jamaican most time we just sprinkle it on it we know we just use our estimation we just judge we have good judgment never fresh never too salt nothing never too fresh never too salt just right so that's my maggie um and as i said those were on it already i'm just putting a little more this is my um a little garlic sauce no not this is a little garlic salt This is my fish and meat sauce, brace. So, just putting it on it. I am gonna put a little brown in. I don't want it to black, but I want it to have a nice brown color. So I'm gonna put a little brown on it. some brown stew sauce it's Caribbean sunshine brown stew sauce and you know say the good old the good old what? jerk season right so we're gonna put a little jerk season on it Right, so for now, those are the only things I want on it, okay? So, let me run you through it again. I have put a little jerk seasoning, my maggi chicken seasoning. I put a little garlic salt. I put my fish and meat sauce. I put a little bit of browning. 
and I put some brown stew sauce on it. Okay, and I'm just gonna use my hands. I'm just gonna stir it in. See the nice color that it has already. Stir it in. Stir it in. Stir it in. Yeah. Make sure say it well. This is supposed to nice because as me said, it's seasoned it already in with the dry with some of the dry seasoning already. Yeah. And now so it's supposed to soak to the bone. Yeah, when you eat this, you're supposed to just uh, eat bone. Yeah. I have a few friends who don't like um bones in the meat, you know, they want the deep bone. Real, real Jamaican love them bone, all right. So, I have this here. Look at it, nice, it look nice, don't Yeah, so my pot, I have the pot, I'm kind of getting it hot. And when it is very hot, I'm gonna put some oil in it and let it stay, okay? Okay, so while I have these things waiting, I'm already have my sweet pepper and my onion and my carrots and all these things I have them already cut up and waiting all right so I'm gonna put some oil in my pot and I'm just gonna let it stay and when it is well hot then I'm gonna put these turkey neck inside of it and I let them brown on both sides, okay? Okay guys, so I have a little garlic in my pot and now I'm gonna put my turkey neck inside my oil. my turkey neck they're inside the oil and I'm just gonna let them stay inside I want them to brown okay so I can kind of you know like you're doing chicken you kind of fry them first so I want both sides to Brown, to, to, to be a little to get a little brown and then I'll add my water and stuff like that so because I'm not using a pressure cooker I'm all, each time I um, add water I'm gonna add boiling water okay so my macaroni now I'm gonna just add the cheese Two, so I'm adding both of them. And I'm just gonna pour the cheese in. And I'm gonna add my evaporated milk, okay? That's enough. And then I'm gonna stir again. The mixture right. I'm gonna just put a little more of the milk in it. Okay. 
think I'm gonna add one the one more egg. So it's up to you guys. You can add one, you can add two, you can add three. It's up to you. Because I did two packs of macaroni, I just think that I should do two eggs. Okay, here. And then I'm gonna add some of my breadcrumbs into it. This is what gives it the little crunch, you know. So this is the seasoned breadcrumbs. And this one is the Italian style breadcrumbs. And I almost forget this. This is the mozzarella cheese. How could I forget that? So I'm gonna put my mozzarella cheese in. As far as I see, it doesn't matter when you put them as long as they're there, they're in it. And I'm gonna, you know, this is what give it the little gluey gluey. Yeah. Yes, guys, you know who gave me this recipe? Lati. Yep, Latoya Carr. She a chef, you know? She's bad panic man, so she did teach me this, and why well, I just get her friend, she tell me. Big up herself, chef, Walker. All right, so now I'm gonna get my baking tin, and I'm just gonna put it inside. I'm gonna put some of the mozzarella cheese on the top also. To just sprinkle all over the top. So it's something that, that the kids will like. So this is what it looks like right now and I'm gonna put it in the oven okay so here goes my macaroni inside the oven and I am gonna check my turkey neck now remember the turkey neck yes I'm gonna check it now Okay guys, so I'm gonna turn my turkey neck. And I'll show you in a bit. Just want the both sides to get some brown, some little color, okay? So I throw off some of the oil and then as I said, I'm using boiling water each time I add water. And then I'm gonna add some water. And I help it to I guess, tenderize. So I'm adding all that water. Adding 
the water. And then, I am just gonna cover my pot here now. So, you know, let it continue cooking. Okay, so, I can smell my macaroni, it's coming on. Not ready to check on it as yet. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some rice on now, right? Okay, guys, let us look at our turkey neck. Yes, it's coming on well. And now I'm gonna check my macaroni salad. Yes, it's coming on well, still not ready. I want my breadcrumbs to be crispy. And all of them, they're not looking crispy. They're not looking golden as yet. All right, so have some way to go. Yes, guys. No see what I'm going, right? Yeah. All right, guys, so I add some more water to it. And I'm just gonna cover it and let it continue to boil. Okay, guys, so it's time for me to start my rice. So I'm gonna put a little salt to my pot. Do you understand? And I'm just gonna add my rice. So, okay, guys, I have my rice. Put a little butter inside the water. And now I'm just gonna leave my rice to cook. Over here, turkey neck still a going with that thing, a bubble and a bubble. Yeah. All right, guys, for those who don't know, I'm going to know today. Say, love, um, me, me dumpling, yeah. Learn something today, say. God bless love dumpling. So, I'm just going to make some little spinners to put with my turkey neck, okay? Okay guys, I'm coming back to check on my pie, my salad, macaroni salad, and I think it is ready. Look at it. This is how I like it. This is my macaroni and cheese pie, and it is ready. Ready, ready, ready. So I'm just going to leave it right there. So guys, there you have it. This is my macaroni and cheese salad. It's ready, so I'm just waiting on the turkey neck and the rice now, okay? So guys, all this time I'm here talking about macaroni and cheese salad. It's not macaroni and cheese salad, it's macaroni and cheese pie, okay? I guess I have salad on my mind. But I am doing today brown stew turkey neck with a little white rice and macaroni and cheese all right guys so it's been about 30 40 minutes and I am now going to add my carrots so I'm gonna add my carrots to the brown stew so I'm gonna add my uh, added, added my carrots and now I'm gonna also add my little spinners. Spinners. I'm adding them. It's a life without dumpling. I don't know. You really know it, how it works. Love me dumpling. I understand. So my macaroni pie is ready. I'm waiting. I'm just gonna put a few spinners inside here. All right, guys, so see there. So we have our little spinners and my carrots 
and I'm keeping them in the pot and I'm just gonna let them boil some more okay a little later on I'll add some other stuff the rice is ready 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 so two down so the rice is ready my macaroni and cheese pie is ready and I'm just waiting on my turkey neck I still have a little way to go because I have some more stuff to add to it okay guys yep okay guys so it's now time to add remember when I was um, seasoning the turkey neck I had uh, I took them from this so now I'm gonna add some water to this and I'm gonna add it to my turkey neck over there okay Now I'm going to add my sweet pepper, bell pepper, my onion, some garlic. I'm not ready to put the butcher bean in as yet. Guys, it's coming on, it's coming on, all right? yep 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 okay guys it's time now to add my butter bean it is um goya butter bean butter bean see it look pretty guys i did not have any um scotch bonnet pepper I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot pepper sauce on it, grazed hot pepper sauce. Normally, you know, if you have your scotch bonnet, you would put it when you, uh, um, you are putting the sweet pepper and the onion, you put your pepper at that time too. But I don't have that, so we have to use what we have, right? This is how we test the food to see if it's salt or whatever. Ready. I'm just gonna cover it and let it continue, continue to kind of simmer down, boil down. And hopefully the next time when I come to check it, it will be ready. So my rice is ready. And this turkey neck it's very close to uh, being done and my pie you know already it's done okay guys please remember to hit the notification bell like share and subscribe leave a comment okay guys support a sister for those of you who like ketchup like myself you can add a little ketchup to the pots you don't have to I like it so I'm adding it, okay? Put a little ketchup. This is this is optional. So if you don't like ketchup, you don't have to. Because when I tasted it, it's ready. You understand? But I just put a, some ketchup in it because certain things there, girl, just have to have ketchup, dumpling, and all them things there. So you see the part how it's there? all right guys the seeds coming on right all i am gonna do is to just wait ready look at it the rich sauce or what you call this the gravy rich and all it's doing is waiting to go in your belly and the plate and into your belly Okay guys, so here I'm finished. My rice and my brown stew turkey neck. And over here I have my pie. Okay, my macaroni and cheese pie and my vegetables over there. So now it's time to demolish this. Give me a thumbs up, rate this video. Thumbs up, please remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. and. Uh, for sure you'll see much more like this much more videos like this okay guys so food dinner is served okay and, uh,
fry and everything already and it's a go on it's going on the pie i say one turkey net i say one again so everything ready so guys this is where i'm gonna leave i hope that you will really enjoy this video you can go ahead and try it it's really simple to use any um pressure cooker to do my turkey net and it's very tender and stuff like that so this is where i'm gonna leave so remember so like share and subscribe to my channel and it's your girl going to bless checking out i'll see you on the other side bye